Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade or Fi Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho, and right now I'm going to be talking about the Euro US dollar. And uh, what basically caused the Euro US dollar to have a pretty decent bounce, and I was expecting a bounce at some point. Um, this was a little early, uh, but the main reason why this happened was because the Spanish bond yields, uh, the 10 year generic bonds, did pull back their yields from 7.5% down to around 7.2%, 7.3%, somewhere in that percentile range. Now, this is good for the euro, partially because of the fact that if the yields drop, that indicates a stronger euro, and that political risk has stabilized by a small margin. However, it could just be a temporary buy-in of uh, Spanish bonds by speculators before they might end up dumping the, the bonds themselves in another round of selling. So, watch that closely. Spanish bond yields are very important. Of course, other bond yields in the European economic zone are important, but yields being about 7% are as indicative that the economic circumstances in Europe are extremely dire and that there are very few companies, or I mean not really companies, but countries that have been able to walk away from a 7% bond yield without going bankrupt. So the track record in a 7% yield isn't very rosy for Spain. It, could, it should cause for concern amongst investors, and it should call for another round of European Central Bank quantitative easing, or what they call LTRO. So that's what I think personally. This is just a short-term bounce. I don't think that we're going to be able to close above that trend line. If we do close above that trend line, it could indicate a short-term pop in the market, but I think this is about as much as we're probably going to get. I think yields are here to stay for the Spanish government. Until the, until the ECB drops another interest rate or cuts interest rates drastically, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. So I think this market is going to eventually roll over into some losses. And I think that later on throughout this session, a lot of the gains that were made in the Euro US dollar will, be eventually, be, will eventually be, be given back to the bears, as um, there are plenty of justifiable reasons for why uh, we should sell the Euro US dollar. Uh, there's not enough currency. Um, flowing in the European economic zone. A lot of inflationary policy must be put in place, at least over the short term, to get this economy, the, the European economic zone, up and running again. And since I don't see that happening, I don't think that is politically popular enough. I think that the Euro-US dollar will fall uh, for mainly because of political risk and then eventually due to inflationary risk. So eventually, it doesn't matter what, what Europe does. It's going to cause an inflationary, well, it's going to cause the euro US dollar to fall. So take care, folks, and I'll see you guys around. And I hope you guys make money every single day of the year.